Using 5G broadband at home, but not quite happy with the speeds that you're getting? Today, we've explained the steps you can take to improve your 5G broadband speeds and consistency. But before we begin, if you have an Android phone, click the link in the description to download our Signal Checker app to see how good your 5G signal actually is, and to find out where you're getting the strongest 5G signal to help you get better speeds. We'll discuss how to do this in more detail later in the video. So the simplest, easiest way of getting faster speeds from 5G broadband is to make sure your router is positioned in a good spot. You need to find somewhere with strong 5G signal and minimal interference so that the quality of the signal doesn't get degraded. Normally, the best place is an upstairs windowsill, but if you download our app, which we've linked in the description, you can be more scientific in finding out where to put your 5G router. Once you download the app and grant the necessary permissions, Tap the button in the bottom right to monitor your 5G signal strength, making sure you have your mobile broadband SIM in your phone or you're at least using a SIM on the same network for your testing. Then walk around and test a few different areas around the house to check for good 5G signal. Basically, you want to find the spot with the highest overall score, according to the app. It doesn't matter if you're only getting a fair rating, meaning your score is in the orange instead of the green. In our experience, we still get about 500 megabits per second in an area with a score of about 50 to 55, but you want to avoid red areas if possible, and you want to find the spot with the best signal to get the best speeds. If you're struggling to get good signal, take a look at the other metrics lower down in the app. If your RSRP or signal power is low, it could mean you're too far away from the mast and the signal strength is beginning to drop off or get interfered with. And to assess that, a low RSRQ normally means there's radio interference or something like that. And a low SINR normally implies the signal is being blocked by buildings or other obstacles. If you find you get good signal in a few different parts of the house on a consistent basis, try run your 5G router in each of them and perform some speed tests to see which performs best with the router. Because often, a 5G router can pick up better signal than your phone can, meaning it might perform a bit better than the app implies that it will. The next thing you can do to improve your 5G broadband speeds is to get an external antenna to pick up better 5G signal. When we install an external antenna, such as the Waveform Quad Mini, or when we switch to the 3 5G Outdoor Hub, compared to their regular 5G hub, we normally see a download speed increase of about 200 megabits per second or so. Apart from giving you a speed boost, the other thing antennas are really good at is helping you get faster speeds on a more consistent basis. When you check your 5G signal, you might notice that the bands being used are quite inconsistent. Basically, bands are different classifications of 5G frequencies that your router or phone uses to communicate with the nearest 5G mast. Different bands offer different speeds and different ranges. For example, on the 3 network, using the app, when we walk around the house, we notice it switches a lot between band 1 and band N28. The second of these bands offers much faster speeds and is a lot better if you can get it. What an external antenna does is allow you to pick up better signal than your phone or router on its own can. So if you do see good bands in the app, like N78, but you don't see them very consistently, an external antenna might be able to help you pick them up on a more consistent basis. To use an antenna, you'll need a 5G router with external antenna ports. Normally, routers come with either two ports or four external antenna ports for a 2x2 or 4x4 MIMO antenna respectively. If possible, you want to be able to use a 4x4 MIMO antenna, meaning you want a router with four ports, but you can still see good results with 2x2 MIMO antennas as well. Once you order the antenna, it'll come with a few different mounting options depending on its size. You can normally drill them into brick, hang them on a flagpole, or potentially a drain pipe, or stick them to the outside of a window. Then you'll need to feed the cable back indoors into your router, and they normally have a special cable you can shut in a window to achieve this without letting any water or air into the house. All good antennas are weatherproof, and apart from mounting them, they're essentially just plug and play. We have other videos on our channel showing how to set up antennas, like the 3 5G Outdoor Hub and the Waveform Quad Mini, if you want to learn more. But it is worth mentioning, when you're using an external antenna, it can be worth paying a bit more attention to where the nearest 5G mast is. To position the antenna, we recommend the same process as positioning a 5G router on its own, whereby you use our signal checking app 
to find the best place to put it with the strongest 5G signal, but you should also look at where the nearest 5G mast is located. On the app, look for the ENB value at the top, then come to this website, cellmapper.net, click search on the left, type in your ENB value here, press enter, click on the ENB, and you'll be able to find the tower you're connected to. If you don't find the tower by searching the ENB, come to your street on a map of the UK and look for the tower instead, because sometimes the ENB that we get shown by Android and we report in the app is off by one or two digits. So with this tower here, for example, it might be reported as 10317 or something like that in the app. Anyway, once you've found a tower, you generally want to mount the antenna on a second story pointing towards the mast. You actually don't normally want to go higher than a second story because interference can get worse if you go too high. So that's something to keep in mind. If you are considering an external antenna to get better 5G speeds, click the link in the description to the Waveform Quad Mini on Amazon to see what prices they're offering on it when you're watching this. And also in the description, click the link to the 3 5G home broadband coverage checker to see if you can get their 5G hub or 5G outdoor hub at your address when you're watching this. This is a quick one, but it's also worth checking your 5G router's firmware. If you're having issues with your 5G broadband speeds, it could be that there's a firmware bug that's making your router connect to inefficient bands, resulting in worse speeds, or something like that. With something like the 3 5G hub, firmware updates are handled automatically. But if you have your own router, you'll need to log into the admin portal and update the firmware yourself. To do this, open up the command prompt when you're connected to the 5G router, type in ipconfig, then look for the default gateway and type this into your web browser. From here, you'll be able to log into your router and download a firmware update, which may help you get faster speeds, especially if you're using an older 5G router that hasn't had its firmware updated in a while. The other thing you can do to get faster 5G broadband speeds is switch to a better network. But how do you know which network is best and which will offer the best speeds at your address? If we look at national averages, according to this data from speedtest.net, 3 has the fastest median 5G speeds on the market at the moment, followed by Vodafone, then EE. So in general, we recommend 3 as the best place to start, but they're not always the fastest at every address. Vodafone and EE can also be worth looking at. To decide on a new network, the first thing we do is look at their coverage maps. This is 3's, which we've linked in the description as an example. Put in your postcode here, and if you have good indoor and outdoor 5G at your address, the network might be worth looking at. Beyond this, you'll need to get a SIM and do some testing. It's normally fairly easy to pick up a pay-as-you-go SIM to test a network's performance, but there are some headaches with doing this. It's worth keeping in mind. The first is, Getting your hands on an unrestricted EE SIM can be very difficult, especially on a short-term basis. Their pay-as-you-go SIMs are all limited to 25 megabits per second, which is obviously terrible for 5G broadband. So we recommend looking at 3 or Vodafone first, if you haven't already tried them, and their coverage maps look good at your address. It's also important to note, using a SIM in your phone, you won't normally get as good speeds compared to using that SIM in a 5G router. So if you test a 3 SIM, in your phone and you get 60 megabits per second or something like that, you'll normally get much faster speeds using their 5G hub home broadband router. But you can use smartphone speed tests to compare the relative performance of each network as long as you're testing on the same device. And you can also use a signal checker app which you can download with the first link in the description to see which network offers the best signal and the strongest, most consistent network bands at your address at the moment. But ultimately, there's no replacement for actually testing with a SIM in a 5G router, which is why on their 5G hub plans, 3 has a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning you can set up the router and perform a heap of speed tests over the course of a week or so and return the router and exit the contract if you're not completely satisfied. So if you're looking for a new 5G broadband router, click the link in the description to the 3 coverage checker and put in your postcode here to see if you can get the 5G hub at your address when you're watching this. We think the best way to get better speeds with 5G broadband 
is to get an external antenna. Even in situations where we've had good 5G broadband performance, we've normally seen a 200 megabit per second or so increase in our download speeds every time we've added an antenna. But before you buy one, it's also worth making sure that your router is in the best possible position. So make sure to click the link in the description and download our Signal Checker app to find the best possible spot to place your 5G router in your home. And if you have any questions about improving your 5G broadband speeds, let us know in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.